Case Study, Pamela Mills Portrait Studios, Schizoid Personality Disorder. Hi, come on in. Hi. Hi. You all look so nice. This is going to be a wonderful family portrait for y'all. Thank you. This is my son. Hi. Don't you look handsome? And my daughter. I'm CJ. Hi, CJ. You look beautiful today. Thank you. Are you a sir or a madam? Well, I'm a woman. Okay. It's hot in here. It's all the light. Well, it's all the light. That's right. Yeah. Mom's oh. right. <laughs> Actually, I should say, I'm their aunt. Their mom, uh, she, uh, well, they don't know, but she died. What? Well, they think she just left, but she died. Well, that's none of my business. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. If y'all smush together. Cedric, don't. You. Girls. I'm a boy. Well, my braces are heating up. Well, that's not the lights. I don't know what that would be. He has tooth warming. If some people get gingivitis, and my teeth heat up. Okay, well, are we in danger? Or? No, I might be. He I has mean... a natural occurrence of photovoltaic cells in his enamel. It's part of why his mother took off. Trust me, it's like fibromyalgia. It's not real. Speaking of words that start with photo, let's take a photograph. It's fibromyalgia, not photomyalgia. Okay. Can we put your aunt in the center? You can call me Lourdes. We'll put Aunt Lourdes in the center. Okay. See? Trick will put you right here. Hey. Um, CJ will put you on the other side of Aunt Lourdes. Yeah. Look at that. That looks great. And I'll just take a few. All right, like that. Yeah. Here's what you want to do. Oh, okay. Sorry. What's the matter? Is it the flash? I was just smiling. Do you know that you make a noise when you smile? What? Yeah, you make like a sort of haunted house noise. She also has a sort of ossified lip problem where it can calcify in an inch. Shut inch. up. It, anyway. My aunt is a scientist. Oh, is that right? What, what kind of science do you do? Church science, mostly. I heard this new report that the earth might be 2,000 years old? Yeah, we're trying to get it down to a 1,000. Good luck with y'all. I'll be praying for you. Thanks, honey. Can I bring my durable Arthur out of my pocket? Oh, you probably should, because it's hot in here, and he's a living creature. Yeah. Oh, not anymore. I spoke too soon. Arthur. Okay, put him in the trash can over there. I want to give him a proper burial. It's a Christian trash can. Oh, so speaking of Christian, I should let you know that we're taking this photo from my Christian Tingles profile. Where oh, I think it's called Christian Mingle, right? Not after 11 p.m. Oh, I've never been on the internet that late. Well, who does? Only sinners. I'm strictly 9 p.m. and out. <laughs> Log off! So I'm hoping to meet a nice man, and yeah. I'd like to get them hooked up with some nice men as well. I'm a boy. Oh, right. I'm a lesbian. And so was your mother. She was? She's not dead. She ran off with another woman. Oh, I see. She's dead to us is what we mean to say. Right. Okay, well then, here's what I want you to do. If y'all two would look up at your Aunt Lourdes, like adoringly, like, oh my gosh, we're so lucky to be living with her. What's so great about living in a Ford F-150 with your aunt? Well, it's a good American car. And for the record, it's a king cat. Fit for a king. Fit for a king of kings. Oh, our Lord Jesus Christ. And a lordess of lordesses like you. Snap! I got gotcha. you. Oh. Hey, why don't y'all put on these feather boas and gangster hats? Oh, that sounds fun. We'll do a dress up. Uh, if you want to call it that. I'll be like a gangster's mall. And CJ, you can be an old timey flapper. Fine. And Cedric, you could just be a dead woman. Do I get to wear a dress? No, but look, I got a plastic puddle of blood. Slip it under your head so it looks like your skull got stove in. My teeth are burning. I, I can smell them, actually. It's a fake disease. Not like the ossified lip. That's a real thing? Yeah. Okay, change of pace. Everyone put on these firemen helmets. I love this three women firemen. Oh, my boy. No one believes it. Hurry up. I have a date with the most popular boy in school tonight, Barley Skywalker. Could we do a thing where it's like arty? Who's arty? No, like artsy. Like, or the two of them are turned around and it's just me or they leave the frame. And you could do like a frosted shot of me or like a glamour shot. But instead of putting Vaseline on the lens, you just put it on my face. Yeah, I'll smear Vaseline all over your face. Can we go faster? Barley and I are going down to fuck beach later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, come on in, come on in. Are you celebrating something? What's the occasion for this photograph? Well, I've recently gone through a divorce, and my two best gals want to get me out there and get me shopping again or get me shopped. <laughs> We're celebrating. Listen, there ain't no shame in celebrating a failure. That's right. You know, people always have marriage, you know, albums and those sorts of things. I always thought, why not have a divorce album? I'll tell you what, honey. I wish people had marriage albums because I'd be a millionaire. People do the weddings, and that's it. I'm looking at this as sort of a calling card so I can get out there again and just get in it. Do you think men are attracted to sort of foggy gray backgrounds? Every time I've ever met a man has been on the seacoast in a sad place. So what do you want to do? In order to catch a man, you want to get a bunch of different pictures printed up? 
Well, yeah, I thought maybe a feather boa, but the kind that has that, like, Muppet fluff. Can I tell you what? What? Men love oversized sunglasses. Do you have any? Do I ever put those on, girl? <gasps> oh, I feel like a fly. We also wore our bathing suits underneath our clothes clothes so that we could really attract a man. I don't see how that works. It just seems weird and uncomfortable. It is. Could you do that thing where you put Vaseline on the lens and then just pantyhose on the lens and then just put Vaseline on my face and then just put pantyhose on my face? Stick them up. How about for you, I'm just going to take a bar of soap, smear it on there, and then put some wool tights over top. <laughs> Great. I saw on your website that you had like a graphically depicted crucifixion background. We'd love that too. Yeah, because after all, I am Christian. You got to let me roll that down. Here you go. <gasps> Look at it. It makes me want to weep. It's so emotional. Maybe you could start taking pictures because we want this to be as real as possible. Absolutely. I'm going to start snapping away and you do what you got to do, okay? So I should cry in my three-piece bathing Absolutely. suit? Absolutely. You want to catch a man that knows that you're willing to bear all, almost, and be emotionally vulnerable in front of our Lord. He needs to think he can fix you. So look as damaged as possible. You're more than there. <laughs> Thank you. Honey, I love that vest. Oh, that's a rash. All right, now look at the wound in Christ's side. It's pretty graphic. You can actually see the layers of skin. It's like a body works. Oh, there's something in here. That's right. We call that the glorious hole. Uh -huh. What you're feeling on the other side is spaghetti. But it feels like guts, right? It's like a haunted house. Oh, don't, don't say that. That's against God. I do apologize, of course. That's all right. Okay, turn to the side. Now look straight at me. Uh -huh. Now hold up this little plaque. It's got these numbers on it. That's in case you ever get arrested, then the police don't have to do that. They can just call over to me, and i got to deal with them. It's great. I've already got one of these. What, girl? What'd you do? I loved too hard, let's just say. She tried to kill Phil. Have you seen Kill Phil Parts 1 and 2? I did. That's that Canadian director, Toronto. Uh-huh. Anyway, did you're trying to kill your husband spark the divorce? Well, it was partially because of it and of it. Like our Lord, it existed before, during, and after. Is it okay if I put on my swimming chaps? I'd like to see you do it. Oh, it sounds like a dare. Here we go. You couldn't do it. I couldn't. I failed. Wait, who's that back there? Is she with you? Hey, was there a Quiznos here? There was a Quiznos here, Is honey. Is this but it? Are we at the Quiznos? No, it's not a Quiznos anymore. That's a long time ago now. I just have a craving for just like an oven-toasted sub. Well, I can make you one. Oh, you can? Of course I can. We kept the grill. Oh, Seems like I've stumbled into something. I'm so sorry. No, no, not at all. You make yourself at home. Would you like a bourbon? And a toasted sandwich. I guess that's dinner tonight. Do you want to take a picture with us? We were just posing in our swimsuits in front oh of Oh, my God, Lord. Tamala. Oh, my God, Bermuda. I haven't seen you in forever. Do y'all know each other? Yeah, we went to Bible... We went to... We yeah, went we... to Bible fight together. <laughs> Have you heard of Bible fight? Yeah, you get inside a big Bible... Uh -huh. You got to arm holes and leg holes, and then you just go at each other. That's right, that's right. Did you see Real Steel with Huge Jackman? Did you see Huge Jack with Real Steelman? <laughs> oh, what fun we're having. Could I get one of those sandwiches? Of course you can. Now they're going to make you feel a little bit woozy. I'd welcome it. I'll take a double bourbon. I don't know how to pour triples, so this is going to be tricky for me. I'll take a double and a quadruple, but I want it to be a triple in a different container, Die Hard 3. I think I can diagram that. Anything for you, honey? Maybe you could help me, Paula, because I've been... Who? What'd you call me? Paula. Her name's Pamela. What are you doing? My name's doing? Pamela. Did y'all think you're going to Paula's but your, studio? Your, your smock says Paula on it. Because it's a certified Paula Dean butter apron. Well, then I'm in the clear, then. You're embarrassing me. No, it's all right. It's all right. Everyone just relax. We're having fun. We're I'm taking sorry. pictures. I've just been so stressed since my husband been left me for dying. He died. He killed. He was killed. Well, let me tell you what. You just sit down, have a bourbon, have a chemically sandwich. I could really go for a cheese bourbon. <laughs> One cheese bourbon coming up. Oh, I'm having a good time getting divorced. Honey, I've been divorced three times, and each time has been more fun than any of the marriages. What's your secret? My secret is I'm a terrible wife. <laughs> Oh, that flash is bright. It's supposed to be. Do you have any dark flashes, Pamela? Sometimes. <laughs> then they pass, and I wonder what happened. What did I do? Oh, tell me about it, girlfriend. I find myself in a strange place. All my clothes are torn to shreds. And I think, was I a werewolf or am I a blackout drunk? Oh, hey, did someone... I stole that joke from, 
friend of mine's act from a million years ago. I backed into it by accident. I'm sorry, Pamela. Did you used to be a stand-up comic? <laughs> I did, but then I, I developed an allergy to shoulder pads. It was the 80s. I see. Yeah. You know, I can't help but think you're living your best life, and I just want to be like you. Sometimes I take on apprentices here at the camera studio. I know how to eat, pray, and love. Well, honey, you're going to need to do all three. The trifecta. That's right. Eat, pray, love at the same time. You hand me that cheese bourbon. Here you go. <sighs> oh, look at you. I feel new again. That was fantastic, Carla. Oh, shut up. Do you feel like you, <laughs> do you, feel like you got your groove back, honey? Yes, I do. I don't know how to thank you, Pamela. What's your name? Well, they just call me Dummy. I don't know how to thank you because I don't need to. You're just a dim worm. You're just jealous of my figure in this suit. Yeah, if you could be jealous of something that looks like a newel post. <laughs> well, just wait till I face toward you. What's that supposed to mean? Here, now look at me. Oh my god. See? Now you look like Brabantia the horse witch. Oh, I wish you girls wouldn't fight. But more than that, I wish you would fight and make it more interesting. <laughs> That's a fair point. I take the blame for that. All right, now why don't y'all do a pyramid? Okay, everybody on my very capable shoulders. Oh, an inverted pyramid. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Okay. <sighs> All right, hold it, hold it. Uh, Here we go. Uh, smile, uh, smile, uh, and... Uh, and... Oh, oh. oh, I hope it took. Girls, before we leave, I just want to say something. And this includes you, Pamela, and you, Bermuda. I'm all ears. That's what I wanted to say. Oh. No, I cropped them out, at least one. Thank God, because it's like taking a picture with Alfred E. Newman's weird refrigerator sister. All right, girl, it's time to pay the piper. That's me, the photographer. I'm on a next income. You're on a what? A next income. She was fired. Do you take Quiznos punch cards? Yeah. Isn't that weird? I guess I'm going to cover it. Oh my God, look how many 10 sandwiches you've had. <laughs> I love Quiznos, y'all. <laughs>